subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hi i'm dr sanjeev p sahani and today we will be discussing about a depression women face post pregnancy called postpartum depression the birth of a baby can trigger a jumble of powerful emotions from excitement and joy to fear and anxiety but it can also result in something you might not expect that is depression postpartum depression also known as postnatal depression occurs in mothers between 3 days to 6 weeks after giving birth those similar postpartum depression should not be mistaken for postpartum blues which are fairly common in the immediate period after a mother gives birth and are characterized by a transient depression lasting up to around 72 hours most new moms do however experience postpartum baby blues after childbirth which commonly include mood swings crying spells anxiety and difficulty sleeping baby blues typically begin within the first 2 to 3 days after delivery and may last for up to 2 weeks symptoms of postpartum depression may be relatively mild but they may also range to major depressive episodes unlike the more short term and immediate postpartum blues the covert nature of postpartum depression makes early recognition and subsequent treatment particularly difficult this lack of recognition is one of the core dangers of this mood disorder and social stigma is a major contributor associated with this while the postpartum period is a time of elevated risk an estimated 50% of postpartum depression cases still go undetected a concerning notion as 10 to 13% of new mothers have been reported suffering from this postpartum mood disorder while the actual number may be much higher indeed suicide is a major cause of maternal death largely due to the impact of postpartum depression if not properly detected and treated the well-being of the mother and the cognitive emotional development of the child will be negatively impacted and since the mother child bonding during this crucial developmental period is impaired this disorder may contribute to attachment disorders developing in the child's later life therefore identifying the risk factor is crucial to preventing this debilitating mood disorder from making such a massive toll on mother and child changes in hormone levels combined with the significant psychological strain that is to be expected when giving birth have been thought to contribute to the onset of postpartum depression recognizing symptoms of postpartum depression is new mothers should be prioritized but overcoming the insidious covert nature of this disorder is largely in the hands of the mother it is important for the mother to recognize the signs and react accordingly mild or major depressive symptoms difficulty bonding or feeling close to your baby overwhelming fear of inadequacy as a mother recurrent thoughts of harming yourself and or your child and inability to function normally in taking care of yourself and or your child intensive professionally based postpartum support tends to be the most promising intervention to treat this mood disorder but this is often subject to the symptom severity and individual needs that's it in this video keep watching jips infotainment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more informational videos thank you